It's still going to be okay That's for one person. When you're saying we don't have good morning, so we have, did you make it through the night okay? Because we do not have good morning. And then you would say, it's still going to be okay God. See how this ending changes? Remember now, we're going to start. Uh, do we have any new students in here on Zoom? Is there any new ones? All right. So it's Dungo and Jokayadega, and it's Dungo and Jokayadega Ga. So this is where you're going to uh, say to a group, a Ga. Okay. Now, yeah, say greetings. Uh, okay. okay. This is a different greeting. I don't usually say J. I say it's Dungo. It's Dungo. That's what I usually say. And you can use each day if you want to, that's your preference. But I always say, it's don't go. And the response you would make was, mm -hmm. Jinda. Jinda means a new. And you could say, it's don't get a source, or it's don't go dos. Either one. Say, it is good to see you. The a base word for jihijayat is tijida. Remember now our language is verb uh, infinitive. It's verb prominent. So an infinitive verb for jihijayat is uh, tijida. Kistos, the uh, base word for kith is kithi, kithi, or kithida. And it's like, uh, uh, it's been cut down to keep those. And it says, it is good to see you. You too, Jimmy. Jimmy. We haven't seen each other in a long time. So that's why, and that's true, Mondos. Mondos. How was the family or how was the rest? Abal Dagi, Dungun Fulla. Uh, about doggy can be is more than one, like the rest of them. You can use that. Don't go for this. They're okay. Remember now, for this means they're going around, but actually it's saying they're okay. But literal, it means uh, don't go. They're going around. Okay. Jinakta. How about yours? How about yours? Remember, uh, jinak means uh, it's short down to jinagi. Jinagi means uh, yours, belongs to you. Greetings to a visitor. Okay, come in. First thing you do, now this is in my home when I greet somebody that is a speaker. I'll say, Ajibas, Ajibas. And then when they come in, I say, Ladybus. Sit down or don't make bus and see the tone. It's not like the bus in there saying, Go ahead and sit down, have a seat. Don't make bus, go ahead and have a seat. And you know, first thing I do is, You want something to drink? Not iskida chiaji go. I have coffee, coffee, or jado. Have you eaten? And, and you know, my mom always told me not to throw away leftovers like if we've already eaten. Due to the fact that um, she said, you know, back then in her days, everybody walked or had a butt board. And she said, you never know when somebody is going to stop by your house that's hungry. So um, she said, never throw away leftovers. And so... Um, you know, we got me and my husband's got our own uh, communication. Um, when somebody comes over, he'll do his head, you know, make his not his head toward the kitchen. That's telling me heat up stuff, get the leftovers out, you know. And um, and then you know when I I'll walk back in, you know, I'll heat it all up and everything, and I'll say it's ready, doggy. And he'll say, um, he'll tell me, he'll tell that person that come over, y'all sit down and eat. She heated up leftovers. 
we just we had supper maybe 30 40 minutes ago but you eat you know and you know we have a constant visitor that's his uh, brother-in-law and uh, and he'll ask him to come over and eat every day because that's just our way you know and that was my family's way so we always tell him to eat and he'll say well i can stop by and have a bite you know and uh or you know when he shows up he'll he'll tell me go heat up stuff and i will and he'll come in and eat and that's just our way in our family you know that's how we that's how we um share you know we always share um says uh i have coffee and he drinks coffee so i always admit mitchell will say make some coffee because he's coming over that's my husband his name is mitchell and uh so and you know say you made it back and you know my mom always uh and sometimes she made it in a sarcastic way. She said, so look, it's John. I said, you was out about and you made it back, you know, and, and that's when we were younger, you know, we had to, you know, we were out, <laughs> out and about, not probably uh, talking with friends or visiting or something, and we'd make it back maybe 12, 30, 1 o'clock. She said, so look, it's John. <laughs> but this one is, so look, it's John. You made it back. I'll see you again. Chihijatis. Hadam Chihijatis. I'll see you again. Chihijatis. That's when they're leaving because we don't have bad. This is saying, I'll see you. Hadam Palakachi. Hadam Palakachi. Come back again. And we always say that. You know, there was a, 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 a person in, in my hometown, you know, and he would come over. And uh, and same way, you know, my husband would nod his head and I'd do what, you know, to heat up stuff and I would. And when he was leaving, I'd say, Salagachi, Hadam Bonhom Batas. And I don't have that down there. We'd say, Hadam Bonhom Batas, come back again and eat with us. That's what, how we would, you know, go and do things. But, you know, um, I don't know, you know, my mother always told us, you know, Feed people. Always have, don't throw away leftovers. Keep them. Because somebody hungry might come over. So that's how I always do. And so, you know, it, it, it's uh, just a way of life for us. It's just, uh, it's just something that we do. Okay. Okay. I know, I don't, there's not one in here. <laughs> Let's see. Um, let's see. Got a chat. So, can you put that sheet in chat so we can print it? Yeah, you can. Um, right here, since this is a new thing, look here, it says Magus. This is like a command. Remember now in previous classes. We had command in anything ending the uh, C right here. Uh, C is a command. And that comes from the, uh, it, it's a base word, it's magida. Magida. Magida is an infinitive verb. But when you put the uh, C at the end, magus, say it. And you can tell me that, and I can tell you that this is a, this is a two, two-way thing, okay? A two-way conversation, you can tell me that, I can tell you that. Hadam magas, hadam magas, say it again. Hadam means more or again. Magas, say it again. And you can tell me that, and I can tell you that. Chibuhaks, I can't hear you. Chibuhaks. And sometimes, you know, uh, 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 like, uh, I'll tell, you know, my grandkids, sometimes they'll get shy and they'll say, I'll tell them and I'll say, Chibuhaks. Chibuhaks. And uh, they'll kind of look at me and smile because they're kind of, and I said, uh, Binga with Magas. Don't be afraid, say it. And they will, and usually they're right on it. Jinghitas, I don't understand. 
Chingit Tats. I can tell you that, and you can tell me that. Chingit Tats. I don't understand. That's one of the things that we need to, uh, you know, this never be uh, afraid to use this with me, okay? And remember, don't be afraid to make a mistake and ask questions. I don't care how many questions you ask. If I can answer them, I will. Because in the English language, it's kind of hard, sometimes kind of hard to explain in uh, the Muscogee language, because actually it's a different language. And remember now, our language is sound, all sound. You know, remember in previous classes, we had ma, that's a sound, ma. But that's that, yeah, is this. Now listen to it, ma. All of this is just sound and how, uh, I don't know how many students we have, but we're gonna go over real quick the sounds again, because sound, you never get enough of sounds. And I know that for a fact, because for me, it's hard for me to, um, sometimes I'll have to sit there and think about how I spell, because I could be saying it one way, one minute, and the next second, I'm saying it another, another way. I hear different. So sounds is something that we you need it's, I stress sounds because language is sound, especially the Muscogee language. It has everything to do with sound. And that helps with pronouncing, reading, and writing. You can break it up. You break these sounds up because we have single letter sounds, uh, two letter sounds, and three syllable sounds. And these makes a word, every one of these sounds that you see makes a Muscogee word. Okay, Muscogee word. And, you know, that's why I say our language is sound. It sounds, but now we're going to go into something a little different here. Remember, I said everyday living in previous, previous, the last class we had. Every day. Right there, yeah. Right there, okay. These are, look at all these words, these sounds are making. Look at this. You know, uh, I didn't know how to read and write. I didn't know there was such thing as sounds until I uh, learned them. I had no clue. All I knew was how to speak. And remember, guys, I am not a master at this. I don't know. I'd like to meet a master, but I haven't met a master yet. Um, so these sounds is ah, chi, ah, chi, e. B, P, A, P, L, M, N, O, B, C, C, D, U, A, W, E. Just by saying this, you know, and forget English, because you know how, if you look at this, if you're still in that English mode, you're going to see an A for all. You're going to see an A. But in the Muscogee, it's ah. Hear that sound? Ah, as in aki or ayo. Aki is like a stew. Ayo is a hawk. G, as in chissy. Remember now, when you have two consonants like this, you got to pronounce both. And there's no silent sounds in the Muscogee language. And you may not hear it, but this is what I'm going to let you know right now. Sometimes it's the shape of your mouth. Pay attention where the shape of your mouth is, where your tongue is, where, your, uh, where it's placed, because this language is prominent, very prominent in the mouth. If you can't pronounce a word, and if you looked at my mouth the way I say it, you'd be able to pronounce it. And your time placement, it, it has every, it's real prominent in the mouth. So like if you say off key, off, your mouth is open, off key, ah, yo, your mouth is open. Gee, just see, just see. See, hear that C? This C is a mouth. Just C. Just C. 
just give it. This is what I use the most for salad. You can't hear this he right here because it's like in your, it's like a breath. Throwing out a breath, just give it. And if you pay attention, you can feel this. You can see it. You can feel it. Just, it's like a very small on there. Just give it. This is a short E. It as an ega is a head. Ido tree. Ipoji. Ipoji is a sun. And this is a long E. E as an Idalwa. Idalwa. Idalwa is a tribal town or even a nation. Igana is land, or it can be used in the world as a world. Ibaga, six. Fi as in Fiji, that's a heart. Fatcha, truth. Fushwa, bird. He as in Hishje, hello. Hutki, Hut, hear that? Okay, this is an example of what you can feel this. The D, your tongue is on the palate of your mouth. You don't hear the D, but it's up there. You can feel it. If you say it, guys, you can feel that D sound on the top. Your tongue's on top of your palate. Hutki. Hamgin. Hutki is white. Hamgin. Hamgin. Hear that me in there? Hamgin. Hamgin. Is one. This is most confusing to people right here. The I is the A sound. It's an A. So A as in hey, hot, lay, gida, lay, gida, to sit. That's an infinitive verb because it's got the ET up at the end. Bay, gida, bay, gida. Bay, gida is to put something into something. Okay, so like istilibegida, istilibega. It's cut short, but you put your foot in something. That's you. Ghee, as in ghee, mulberry. Gudgel. Now listen to my tongue. Gudgel. Gudgel is the blackberry. Gabi. Gabi is soap. Lee, as in litki, run. Loja, loja is a turtle. Lum he is an eagle. See how these sounds are? Me as in mahi, mahi tall. We got a young man that can speak now. His name is Mahi because he is tall. We named him Mahi. He's tall. <laughs> and it seems unusual, but see how nicknames come about. Mado. You know, you know, if you say my toe, my toe, doing the T sound in English, that doesn't come out. It's my door, my door. And then you say it with feeling. You can't just walk up to somebody and say, my door. <laughs> you know, you say, my door, my door, put some feeling in it, my door. Cause you're saying, thank you. Because in English, you say, thank you, thank you. You say the same way, mado, mado. Mejus, mejus is to do something or to do it. Mejus, see, it's a command. It's got the us be at the ear. Me, as in nadomi, how many? Uh, Nagin, what? Nadomi, how many? Nagin. What? And you know, um, and nodi, nodi is T. I want you to listen to my tongue now. It ain't nudie, because a lot of people I've heard that they say nudie. It's nodi, nodi. Okay, here's what. Oh, this one's got an attitude, guys. If you just said it like in English, oh, it's not, that's not it. It's oh, oba, oba. 
for now. Oski, Oski, rain. Owa, Owa is water. Hear that? Oh, you can't say, like if you did it in English, you can't say, Oba, uh, Oski. And I've heard all those. Owa, it's Oba, Oski, Owa. Now, this is another one, B. That's a B sound. Basco. Basco. That's great. Fosky, our father. Fomi is us. C as in taco. Horse. C as in like a bullet or an arrow. And that's, uh, it's, that's the only two things you can use C for is an arrow or a bullet, okay? Tato is a fish, tato. C as in sa shakwa, sa shakwa is a goose. Shada is an apple. Soda is sky. D as in diniki, diniki, that's a, a thunder. Tuloshi. Oh, this is Tuloshi. That's an old word. They used to call Dolosi Tuloshi. And I know a woman that still, that I knew a woman, she had that still said that Tuloshi. Tuloshi. And we've cut that Tuk out and just say Dolosi now. Tuchinen. Tuloshi is a chicken, by the way. Tuchinen is three. See here, it's not silent, but you can't hear this D right here, the third letter. You can't hear that D in there, but look at where your tongue's at. It's on your tongue's on top of your palate again. Oh, as in chola. Oh, chola. Chola is a fox. Kodi is a frog. Kojashi is the owner. Oh, here's one. This is what I get, even me, I get confused with ah uh, and ah. Uh. I say, uh, you know, I have a hard time distinguishing them too sometimes. Jussie is a pumpkin. But hear that, but budgie is a, a pigeon. Ugy is corn. <clears throat> we, as in wash for. You don't hear the we in here because when you put these three letters together, you got wash. We are see. We are see. Wash go. That's a chigger. Waga is a cow. We so. Hear that? We so. We so is sassafras. Ye as in yaha. Yaha. And you say, I don't hear ye. Well, when you put ye and a uh together, you get ya, ha, it's a wolf. Now look at how these sounds are making words. Our, our language is sound. Yucky, yucky is like evening. Yucky, it's evening. Yanasa. Yanasa is a buffalo. And this sin, these are two. Okay, here we go. Remember, I said when you put two sounds together, you get, you can find, I, I can just tell you, you know, uh, how many words can you find in this two and three letter sound? A lot. It's putting sounds together and language is sound. Ja, chi, j, jo, ju, ja. Hitta. Hitta means look. Ja and di right here together. Ja di. That's red. See how these sounds are making work? G. Uh, let me see. Jimmy, you, Jimmy, put those two sounds together. Jimmy means you. 
that's how that that's why these uh, you can a lot of Muscogee words. I won't say most of them come from these sounds. Okay. Okay, fa, fi, fe, fo, fu, fa, ga, gi, ge, go, gu, ga, ha, hi, he, ho, hu, ha, la, li, le, lo, lu, la, ma, mi, me, mo, mu, ma, na, ni, ne, no, lu, na, ba, B, 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 In this right here, look here. Sato. Sato. That's a fish. Sato. Sa, si, se, so, su, sa. Here's one right here. Sada. Sada. An apple. Sada. Da di de do do da. Wa we we wo wu wa. Ya yi ye yo yu ya. And this is where it gets kind of complicated right here. Like the ah fi ah e e o u a ah e e Ok, 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 al, il, el, ol, ul, al, am, im, em, um, um, an, in, ein, on, un, an, ab, ib, eb, o, u, ab, as, is, a, o, us, as, at, it, et, ot, ot, at. Every one of this is in the word, guys. When you're speaking, you will know all these sounds are in it. Okay, when you put three sounds together, see, a, ki, sock. Seek, sake, sook, sook, suck. Lock, leak, uh oh. Should be lee, a, k, s, i, k. Look, look, luck. Mas, mis, mace, most, moose, must. Look here. Must. Take this. Must. Go, get. Muskogi. 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 See if he's putting those sounds together. That's a word. Muskogi. That's who we are. Muskogi. Mot. Meat. Make. Mot. Mut. Mut. Ha. He. Hey. Hulk. Hook. Huck. Ha. He's. Hey. Hoss. Hoos. Hus. Mark. Meek, make, muk, muk, muk. Man, mean, main, mon, mun, man. Hal, heel, hell, hol, hul, hal. Nak, meek, nake, nook, nook, nook. Fast, peace, face. Look here. Fos, fus, push, wa. Push what? That's a bird. Push what? That's a bird. See how these sounds is making words? Okay. Das, cheese, jays, dosh, juice, just. Look here. Just. Just. Da. Here. Spa, speed, spade, sport, foo, spa. Sla, slee, slay, slow, slew, sla. <coughs> Yeek, yeast, 
Yet, yet. Yuck. Chiam, fian, kot, ma, kon, hon. Hon, lo, va, ka, fis, ka. Hal, hat, hom, chit, lo, ol. Wa, sa, nit, pio, cha. Walk. Kit, but yin, ska, bun, sa. Hear that sa? There's a there. Let me try some. Bo, le, bo, da, ji, sa. See, these sounds are, are is language to us. Like, um, right here, going back up. It don't sound like much in the English language. Well, when you say ma, like ma, right there, ma, that means that. You know, and you know, that's, uh, that sound right there, ma, means that. Yeah, right here, yeah. That's a sound, but it means this. So see how these sounds is language. And that's, um, that is so intriguing to me that when I speak, I'm speaking sounds. I'm speaking sounds. But in our language, it's communicated. And, um, you know, I, I, I see elders and they'll come up to me and ask me, in in uh, in Muscogee, do I speak? And I say, and you ought to see their faces just light up, <laughs> just just uh, light up, and they'll say, I was just, and they'll stand there and talk. We could be in the grocery store, we can be at Walmart, and they want to talk. That's how much they miss and they'll say, oh, I didn't think you knew. I just want to try it out on you. <laughs> and I'll say, and Hambo and I, I'll say, yes, I do talk. I do speak. And they'll just start talking and talking. And then they'll ask me, who's your mother? Who's your dad? You know, where are you from? Uh, you know, they'll just ask me. And then I, I stand there and I give them that. I talk with them. And you know, at one point, you know, when I walk into the store, I think, well, I'm gonna walk in there and walk out. <laughs> I'm gonna get what I need, and walk out. But then I'll see this elder and I'll start, she'll start speaking to me. And I'll speak to her because they want to speak the language. I'll take that time out with them. Okay, I'll take that time out with them and just let them speak. And like they said, you know, we don't have no one to talk to. We don't have no one to talk to. And I'll take they'll talk about anything, the high prices, what bread costs, um, what they ran out of, uh, how they got there. They'll just talk. You know, and I'll ask them the same thing. Who are you? Where are you from? Who's your, you know, and they'll tell me. And, you know, I, I was raised with elders. So, <clears throat> you know, uh, it's, uh, we got to know each other like that. So the next time, and there was a next time we saw each other, she made her way around to where I was at. And I said, oh, I didn't know you was in here. I didn't even see you. She walked up to me and to speak language. And she was telling me how the weather, you know, how the weather's changing and, and how she was doing and where she'd been, where she'd been last week since I've seen her. And I told her we play catch up. And then one day, you know, one evening, uh, me and my husband were just sitting around looking at each other. And he said, let's, 
let's go play. And you know, we'll we'll go to casino here and there. And uh, I saw that woman in there. And she actually came over to me because she's the last person I thought she was an elder. And she came up to me and she said, uh, do you play? I didn't know you played, but we probably seen each other in there a few times, but just never really recognized. But you know, when we was in Walmart, we was in the same aisle and she was going one way and I was going the other. And we came face to face and she asked me if I spoke. And you should have seen her face when I told her I did. She just lit up and she just started speaking. And it was like we've known each other all our lives. The way we were speaking, it was she was same age as me and I was same age as her. You know, there was no um, diversity there. It was just speaking and visiting. There was no age difference, but she, there was one thing we had in common. That was language. And I was so glad. And you know, my husband, he stood there, he shook hands with her. And, uh, and she asked me, does he speak? And I said, ha, I get to go do it. I said, he doesn't know how. And uh, she said, start talking to him. She said, talk to him, he'll learn. And you know, that, that she was giving me advice. She was giving me advice. And I took that to heart. So I started speaking to him. And you know, yesterday, my little grandson, he said, I want peanut butter and jelly sandwich, grandma. And I said, how did she? How did she? He said, okay. He knew what I meant. How did she mean, wait, I'll get it for you. He knew. He knew. And see, I'm kind of shocked at how much my grandchildren are learning. He, he, he said, how did she, I said, how did she, and he said, okay, and um, he comes back in, and he says, you ready, <laughs> you ready to make my sandwich, because <laughs> he left and came back in a few minutes later, and he said, you ready, see, he knew what how did she was, he knew what how did she was, wait a little bit, and he just walked off, and then he comes back, he goes, you ready, and I said, uh -huh. And then he said, uh, Grandma, jelly, jelly. He was one. And you know, I told him, I said, Jamba. Jamba is sweets. And that could mean for anything, but situation and environment comes through there, Jamba. So now he says, uh, Jamba. Last night, you know, uh, I kind of got home early. And so I, um, I made a cake for them. And he said, Jamba. He went and told his sister, we have Jamba. We have Jamba. He's, he's saying, we have sweets. And, and my husband told me, keep talking to him. They keep talking to him. He said, because they're learning and they want to learn. He said, they're learning. They want to learn. He said, keep talking to him. So, you know, I talk to him every chance I can. You know, um, we just, I just say anything to him. I'll just say just everyday living. And we just go on. And, 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 and you know, I told him, I said, uh, everything that I talk about is about us here. Or... You know, he went to church and uh, Sunday we had church meeting and he said, he shall get a machine. Just right. He said it with the tone and everything. He said, he shall get a machine. I said, uh -huh. I said, he shall get a machine. He said, my Sunday school teacher didn't know that. <laughs> and I said, shh. Marco, I said, don't say that. He said, Marco, you know, he said, my Sunday school teacher didn't know he shot get a mishi. <laughs> and I'm like, shh, you know, but, um, uh, you know, he, he's questioned me a lot. 
see bits half the screen. I want to read this again. It says when my father-in-law was in the vet hospital, he was so lonely. You know? He was in Dakota. He found a Dakota speaker to come visit him. Made him just light up. They sit there for hours. Speaking Dakota. See, that's what I'm saying. This woman, you know, they they miss the language. They miss the language. And I bet you we stood there. It seemed like a while we stood there, and it might not have been. But she knew everything about me, and I knew everything about her. We knew the prices of groceries. We discussed that. We discussed uh, the weather. We discussed our health. That had to take a while. But it was just speaking in the language. And I understand this Dakota man because of this woman. This woman told me a lot in the language, not just in the language, told me about her life and what we talked about. It was that she missed the language. And, you know, uh, my husband said, you know, I left. He, he said he was going to go look at some stuff. And I said, okay. He left because he said she was wanting to speak. And he said, I was going to leave you alone with her. And y'all speak. And uh, that's when she told me, does he know how to speak? And it does bring comfort. It brings comfort and they don't feel so alone. Like we're the only ones that speak this language. I'm the only one, you know, or this, you know, she was, she felt like she was in her comfort zone. And that's why the language to me is so important, you know, because right now I'm considered an elder, but I can't live up to their standards. They had high standards because I know I knew my grandmother and I knew my mother. Their standards was something that I can't live up to. You know, their teachings, their, uh, the, the way they carried themselves. They carried themselves with a lot of respect, but they also stood up to themselves. So that's what I know. And I'm going to bring pictures. I told you I would. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and go through all my albums, you know, to, and I got thousands of pictures <laughs> dated back to 1950s, 40s, you know. And so uh, I'll bring those and I'll show them to you. Okay. Remember, I told y'all we was going to start with, we'll start doing um, everyday living. This is it. Okay, let's go to this. And there's no goodbyes in the Muscogee language. Muscogee people didn't say bye. Instead, they used I will see you again, used in different ways. <laughs> And uh, so let's say, I will see you again. Chihijafis. I will see you. Chihijafis. That's more like a promise. Chihijafis. I will see you. And that's what I told that woman. And guess what? We saw each other again. And she, before she left, she shook hands with me and she said, Chihijafis. I said, Oh, I know. Chihijafis. And guess what? We saw each other. We didn't know, but we did. We saw each other. I will see you again. Hadam Chihijafis. Hadam Chihijafis. We could have said that because we did see each other again. I will see everyone. This is like when you're at a gathering or I'm at somebody's house and there's a household there. I say, I will see everyone later. And I say that a lot at my community center because um, 
They don't understand me. But I'll stand at the door and wave at him and I'll say, Jehidagashis, Jehidagashis. And I walk out the door. I will see everyone. We will see each other again. And I told that woman that. Hadam Jehidagashis. And I, I, you know, now my tone told her, I said, Jimbonaya, he tonga. I said, talking to you was good. We will see each other again. And she just grinned and smiled. She just smiled. And you know, um, that made me happy. That day, that made my day. That made my day. Because of her, you know, she was an elder now. She wasn't a young person. And like, you know, not my age group. She was maybe 20 years older than I was. And she just smiled and she said, Moyahis. She said, it will. Moyahis. Okay. Let's see each other again. Hadam dihi jagatis. Let's see each other again. Hadam dihi jagatis. Let's meet up again. Hadam di this. This is, remember, I said this is like surprising. I seen people in places I didn't think I was going to see them, and we just happened to run in each other. Di this. Let's meet up again. Hadam di this. I've seen people in restaurants and tossed that I didn't think I would see. I've seen them in a, a craft shop that I didn't think I would see. And this was out of town. And we would see people we knew in our area, from our area. And I say, how long did you fight your gutties? Let's meet up again, accidental, okay, accidental. Accidentally, how long did you fight your Let's meet up again. Okay, look here. Let's see. Start of the day, this is it. This is every day. This is for me, okay? And I'm sure everyone, and this is what I tell my grandkids a lot of times. Turn on the light first, it's dark. But I had, uh, I got another paper that I'll bring on our next lesson. Kolgi golitchidos, yumutchidos. Kolgi is light. Golitchidos means turn it on first. Yumutchidos, it's dark. Turn on the light. It's dark. There's another way. Kolgi, kolijas, yumutski doors. See, there's two different ways. One is a command, and the other one is do it first. Get up, move around fast. I like it, lucky nigias. I like it means get up. Lucky means fast. Nigias, start moving. Start moving around fast. I like it. Lucky Nigias. Pour water in and take a bath. Owa ajahnit aklobas. Owa is water. Ajahnit means pour it in. Aklobas means take a bath. That's a command. Okay. Owa ajahnit aklobas. Pour water in and take a bath. And, and you know, that's what I tell my grandkids too. Pour the water in, take a bath. But look here. You can say, Oa yokalas. Oa yokalas. Take a shower. But literal, this is pour water on yourself. So I'll say, Oa yokalas. Take a shower. It would be what modern day now take a shower, but back then it was take a bucket of water and pour it on yourself. So but pour it on yourself, take a shower, okay? Look for your clothes. Achagi hoboyas. Achagi is clothes. Hoboyas means look for it. Hoboyas, that's a command, look for it. Put them on, achas. Hurry and put on your socks. <laughs> Is 
sahojechka. See how I broke these up? Istili sahojechka, lucky adihas. Istili sahojechka is socks. Lucky means hurry, adihas, put them on. How about your shoes? That's what we have trouble with every morning. How about your shoes? My grandkids, have you seen my shoes? You know, and I'll say, it's still a bag of that. It's still a bag of that. How about your shoes? How about the shoes? Where they at? <laughs> yeah, it's like a question. Like D, remember? D is a question. It's still a bag of that. How about your shoes? <laughs> How about is that? It's still a bag of it's shoes. How about yours? It's that. Put on your shoes. It's still a bag of this. <laughs> this is the worst run right here. Gather your papers up. Joga Adiloyas. <laughs> Joga Adiloyas. And then there'd be, and you know, my, especially the boy. He just crumbles these papers up and just stuffs them in his bag. He don't try to straighten them up. He just stuffs them in there. And I said, Dabo says, I did have to put it in there a little better. <laughs> but he won't, you know. So I say, Joga Adiloas, gather your papers up. Shokta Adihidoas, put it in your bag first, you know. And then this is what, um, my husband says, how about your purse? Because I'll be going out the door. And I'm like, oh, you know. And he said, and he don't say this, but it says, sokta. Oh, how about your purse? Dogna pudida. Here we go. Dogna pudida. Grab the keys. Get the keys. Sawichka jawas. Grab the keys. Sawichka jawas. Jawas must take it. Get it. Sawichka is key. That's your car key. House key, any key. Sawichka. Get in the car, climb in the car. Adami Sajungas. Sajunga means Sajungas. That's spelled wrong, guys. See, I made a mistake. Sajungas means get in the car, climb in the car. Start the car. Adami is car. Aleji just started. That's a command. Go, go, go. <laughs> I yes, I yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're getting to work. Get into work. Adutkida sote. Get to work, arrive at work. Adutkida is work. Sote means get there. Adami double chip. Park the car. Clock in. Hasiskika. Iyokui kuchit. means to say you're there. I'm here, but that's a time clock in it saying you're there. It doesn't say, it doesn't speak, but it says <laughs> you're there. Okay, clock in. Look here. Work, 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 work. I don't get, I don't get, I don't get. Hear my tone? It's a, the tone is saying, Adorti, adorti, adorti. Work, work, work. Writing papers. Joga hot jejit. See, this is what I was doing when I got to work. Right here. Joga hot jejit. Writing papers. Teach the language. Maskogi bunaga mahayit. Maskogi bunaga mahayit. Answer the phone. Sidin bunahoga ayoboski. Sidin bunahoga is uh, talking to something to talk with each other with. Talking to each other. That's all that is. Talking to each other. Sidin bunahoga. And that is descriptive because we didn't have telephones. You know, we didn't have telephones back then. So it's something to talk to each other with. Ayaboshkit. Ayaboshkit means answer. Like, uh, like if you ask me a question, I'll answer you. Ayaboshkit. To answer, the infinitive verb is ayuboshkida, but ayuboshkida means answering the phone. English to Muscogee, this is what I do. 
Hetki means, of course, you all know that's our English people. Bonaga, they're the, ling the English language. Dola bijajit, change it over. It's saying crossing over. So I, that's my job right here. This is what I did with all these. I changed the English language into Muscogee. Dola bijajit, lake the wings. I was sitting there changing these over, switching them over. Istihet, we don't have is, this, we call it istihetki, but I'll put istihetki, means white language. Okay, isti is person and hetki means they're white, they're descriptive. I was changing it over. Muskogi bonaga doi magida domo. Let's see how to say a word in Muscogee. Muscogee bonaga dui magida dimonayet. Sometimes we'll get a call and say, how do I pronounce this? How do I say this? So Muscogee bonaga is Muscogee language. Dui means how. Magida, how to say it right here. Dimonayet. I tell people, this is how you pronounce the word. This is how you say the word. This is my job now. Uh, is it time? Yeah. Oh, it's a hasiskita. Hamga utibiga. It's already one o'clock. <laughs> it's getting the one. Hasiskita is sun measure. Hamgen is one. Utibiga. Utibiga is two. It's already there. It's already here. So boxing. Chihitaga is boxy is tomorrow. What I say? Is it boxy? No. Wait. What is tomorrow? We do to I mean oh no, um Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Boxy in Hayatka. Uh Pachalega Chihijakis. Oh I know Mado for taking it. And remember, ask questions. Don't be afraid. Mado together gets chia get to the yada. But one day our elders gonna ask you. If, you, if that elder joy. So here we go. And we're going to start. I got more than this. <laughs> it's like when you get home, driving to work, driving back home, getting home, doing all this. Okay. So y'all guys, Mado together gets to you. I say Mado that wants to learn this language. And I want to tell you, I want to share this with you. When you learn this language, you're learning an ancient beginning of time. Creator, creator given thing here. And I'm glad you're learning it. But oh, to get set. Ayi besti. Chihita gase. But Jay, that was great. I like that, Paige. I like that. That was one of my favorites. <laughs> That's good. Well done, you. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs>